I wanted to know what was your reaction to what's going on in the market and also what you are going to propose for for uh, the virtual fair, the online viewing room of Art Basel. Well, we're very happy about the online viewing room at Art Basel. Um, it allows us to respect the, you know, the importance of the fair and to connect with people who, who go there. Um, Art Basel Hong Kong is really one of the pillars of our activity in Asia. We've been going there since 2010. In our first year, we presented a solo booth by Julian Opie, which was hugely successful, and we'll present work by Julian Opie again, uh, a group portrait. Um, Art Basel Hong Kong is one of our pillars. Another is working very closely with museums in the region. We did a magnificent uh, collaboration with CAFA, the Central Academy of Fine Arts in Beijing, last autumn with Anish Kapoor, a double show, and we'll be showing a very beautiful glisten mirror, part painting, part sculpture, part environment, kind of bath of colour uh, at the fair. What else? Marina Abramovich had a magnificent show at the Light Society. It's shaking uh, a lot. I know. Wait, let me try this. How's that? Is that better? Oui. Yes. Marina Abramovich uh, did a kind of mini uh, survey at the Light Society in Beijing last year, and we'll be showing work of hers, a photograph from 2016. Of course, she's showing at the Royal Academy in London this autumn as well. Um, Lu Zhadong, uh, very well known in China and increasingly known in the West through museum shows in Dusseldorf and Arl. We're actually showing one of his more experimental works, uh, a machine painting that he premiered at the Kronos Art Center in Shanghai in 2017. And so, so what, what is your strategy for this very special fair? Do you, do you present things which are less expensive or more spectacular uh, on the internet? What's your strategy? We will show on the internet what we intended to show in Hong Kong. Uh, and our strategy for presenting work there, typically, is to build on our wider presence in the region, building on our work with museums, building also on our work in our space in Shanghai, which opened exactly a year ago. So we showed Richard Long last September, and we'll present a uh, China Clay uh, on Lenin work by him uh, at the fair. And Shiraz Ibushiari is very well known uh, in the region, well known in Hong Kong. She traveled also to uh, Dongguang in Western China last year, uh, a place that's been very influential on her work, uh, and we're showing a beautiful painting of hers. So our strategy is to show artists who are known in the region, and who are liked in the region, and who have some uh, personal connection with it, an artistic connection with it. And wh uh, what's the range of prices? The range of prices is very wide, as is the range of prices and the, the range of our artists, from very young artists to very established uh, and older artists. Mm -hmm. You know, let's say from uh, 10,000 uh, pounds sterling to 2 million uh, pounds sterling. And 2 million is for what? Excuse me? 2 million is for what? Uh, this year, um, sorry, in general, that's the case. In this yeah. case, I'd say the, uh, the Kapoor Mera will be uh, the region of uh, one million. Okay. Uh, and why is it important in terms of business? It's important to be uh, at Art Basel Fair in Hong Kong, I mean? In terms of business, it's certainly important. It hasn't always been. As I say, our very first show, Julian Opie, was a great success, a sellout, actually. Um, all the works were, were placed. Uh, since then, it's been up and down. You know, it was a growing market. Um, the last several years have been extremely successful, and it's clearly rising in importance. Um, our view is that um, it's also a long-term game and we need to build our relation with collectors, we need to build our relations with museums over an extended period. Um, and so it, there are cultural connections as well as strictly financial ones. 